So these units have a recovery mode, um, which also lets us enter a special bootloader, which lets us program over USB. Um, to enter it, we'll swipe right five times. Uh, I found, at least in my testing, it worked a lot more reliably if I power cycle it. So I'm going to unplug here, wait for the red to go back, and then just plug it back in. Um, and from that, you know, there's a little blip there. And from here, we just go one, two, three, four, five. Um, and there we go. So it'll boot. We'll see a bootloader. Uh, this bootloader will let you factory reset it, so erase all user data, as well as enter um, a USB bootloader. And there's also this apply update from primary SD card slot option. Um, so you can see all the options there. And what this does is, um, it, I believe it's actually an internal kind of SD card, they call it, because this isn't the, I have an SD card in there now with a um, with an update and uh, it doesn't seem to actually, um, let's see, left, so right will highlight, um, if we go back to the menu, but yeah, so th that, what was in here was, you know, not, this is like, seems to be the internal SD card. Um, and not the SD card that I have in the unit. So I don't think you can actually use this to um, apply an update just from an SD card, at least that I found. So maybe there's a way, but you can definitely use it to get into the bootloader or, um, let's get out of here. Yeah, or factory reset it. Um, if you do the bootloader, this is entering a rock, U rock chip, the internal um, device here. Uh, and this uses tools on the computer that you can reprogram. Uh, the only caveat is that I had tested this with another unit. So let me do this. It's going to disappear because it's now enumerating as something different. Um, and we plug in a USB cable and we could, could use that bootloader. Um, but yeah, that's how you enter the, the recovery mode on these Axiom units.